Hello, my name is Byron Gonzalez. You're here watching another interview on the SoCal Sound. And today I am talking to the very talented and the world renowned Nella, who is going to be performing here in Los Angeles for her first time ever. She's making her debut here at the Soraya <laughs> this Saturday. How, how does that feel? Well, first of all, first of all, how are you? I'm good. I'm very excited to go back to LA. Actually, it's not my first time. It's, a, it's my first time at the Soraya, though. That So it feels kind of like a first time. But we were there in 2019, was it? I don't remember. And I also don't remember where exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's been so long that let's say that this is my first time. <laughs> okay, for the, the, the time you came back in, came in that 2019, that was like the first time you performed in Los Angeles? Yes, that was the first time. The first time and only, actually. So this will be my second time, uh, but my first at the Soraya. Uh, and of course, with Luis Enrique and Cuatro Trio. So I'm very excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on all the success you've had since the debut of your album. And then you released an album uh, in, in um, 2021. And then you've been in, in a soundtrack and you got asked to do music for a movie and, and all these great musicians that you've also worked with and got to perform with, which is just a long list of talent. And then now you're, you're included in that long list of talent too. Oh my God, such an honor. To, to be honest, it's been a crazy ride. I mean, I know people sometimes ask me, oh, wow, so fast. You went from this, you know, to have a Grammy and then like just like a few months, I'm like, whoa, what about all of those years in silence and working, you know? So yeah, yeah I've, been, I've been doing this since I was 11 uh, and I'm 32 wow. now. Um, but uh, it, it just feels like now, like lately, really the result of all of this hard work uh have been kind of like how do you say um be they're, they're kind of like more clear i guess i mean there's a lot of things that i still want to do and a lot that i want to achieve but it's been great these past few years since 2019 which was my first album that i released boy then the grammy and then signing with sony i'm sorry tambor, tambor yeah bring is, the doggy out here tambor what is it must be in camera too um he's a star so, he's a star that's why yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been amazing. And being on tour is one of my favorite parts of being an artist, to be honest. So being on stage and uh, yeah, I haven't stopped since 2019. We almost every fall and spring we've been touring. So that's pretty awesome. Mm. And you were saying that you started music since you were 11. Now, I, I kind of want to get to know you as an artist, you know, and for those people that are coming to the Soraya, not heard of you, uh, or, or maybe have heard of you a little bit, but not fully. Uh, mm -hmm. um, how, how did you get started in music? How, how did you realize that this is like a career path that was actually obtainable for you? And I'm sure at 11, that must have been like a, a crazy revelation for yourself. Yeah, I've always said that I don't, I don't take him, I just say that I take in vain. Um, like that I'm very fortunate to know what I wanted to do for the rest of my life when I was 11, you know? Because it's not easy. I've always said like, when you're 15, graduating from high school, knowing what you're going to do for the rest of your life, it's kind of difficult, you know? Mm -hmm. But for me, so clear, so clear. I always loved being part of like, um, all of the shows in, in school, acting. My voice was never kind of like, uh, pretty to say that I always said that somebody opened my throat and put a new throat because uh, it really changed um, I, I really loved dancing and I was part of every show but never singing wasn't my thing to be honest uh, oh, but then I joined the choir of the school they never gave me a solo by the, by, by the way and it wasn't until I discovered this album by Christina Aguilera by the way okay. Yeah, that it was when, when she got a little bit, tambor, stop it. It was when she got a little more jazzy, you know? And actually the songs that weren't as famous were the ones that I loved. Um, and I started just to imitate her and imitate her and imitate her and just repeat what she was doing, the runs. For me, it was like very attractive, the, the, the what you could do with your vocal cords. So of course, Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, and all of these um, artists, uh, for, were for me like my teachers to be honest because I was just repeating whatever they were doing so uh -huh. yeah uh, 
And after that, it's what that's when I I knew that I wanted to study music. And I told my parents, hey, I just want to go to the U.S. and I would love to study music. And then Berklee College of Music um, came to my uh, yeah a teacher, my, my harmony teacher in Caracas, uh, the capital, Venezuela's capital. Uh, this was the one who told me, why don't you go to Berkeley? And I'm like, you're crazy. That's for geniuses. I'm, I cannot do that. <laughs> and then he was like, I'll help you for the audition. Um, oh my so, God, that's cool. And that was 2011 when I went to Boston to study music. Yeah. Wow. What, what do you think the, uh, maybe the 10 year old self would, would say or your, or your six year old self would say after all these, the, after this whole journey that you've been through? Like, I can't even imagine. Oh my God. I, 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 that's funny. I never thought about it, but I think she'd be so happy because I used to lock myself in my room after school. Instead of going and playing Nintendo or doing whatever, and I'll play with Barbies, I don't know. I would just lock myself in my room, turn on the computer and sing and dance in front of the mirror. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilar, all of this. And I dreamt. <laughs> Before and I, TikTok. Yeah, exactly. I imagine it was just for me. So this was my dream. Like I always imagine I had like a bunch of people in front of me and I will even like do like I was like playing with the audience and stuff like that, you know? And now to be actually able to do it, you know, and have people singing my songs and stuff is, wow, it's, it is a dream. It is a dream. And I, I, I always say it every time I'm on stage, like I appreciate people, you know, just coming to concerts and getting to know who I am and the music and where it comes from. It is, it's, a, it's a beautiful feeling, I gotta admit. <laughs> you all, it seems like your dog also wants to sing. I think oh that's why he's crying. <laughs> I think I should go. You wanna go outside? I'm gonna just open, come. Just gonna let me go yeah, so we can. <laughs> okay, go, go, be happy, be happy, bye. <laughs> he needs to roam, he needs to roam. Yeah, this is my first dog ever, by the way. This is pandemic oh, really? involved in there, but it's been the best thing I've done in my life, to be honest, besides singing. I, I, got, I got two doggies <laughs> during the pandemic too, and it's been oh. great. Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, all right, so so now that you're coming to Los Angeles performing with Luis Enrique and the C4 Trio, I, and for the people that haven't experienced you live, what, what can we expect? Are we going to expect like a full band, orchestra? Or is Luis Enrique going to make a special appearance during your show? Or is that secret? Or are you going to go on into his stage and, and perform something? What, what can we expect from the uh, Saturday show? Yeah. Well, my first album, if you listen to it, is very naked. It's very acoustic. It's almost only voice and guitar. So that's how I started my concerts. But now, um, I my second album, which is a little bit more, um, um, it has more electronic elements, a little bit more, <laughs> more modern. You mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> He's tiny. So he opened the door. Anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, so for this Saturday, it's going to be full band because the second album brought like a, ver a more modern, more dancey, I think, sound. And I want to like kind of try to bring that sound. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, That's okay. Sound, the stage. And, and yeah, so now I'm going to go with a full band. So it's going to be drums, bass guitar my guitar player who just have made like a quick appearance we're actually rehearsing um and he's been with me for like seven years so it's it's a beautiful beautiful concert we of course take uh, uh, a few minutes to do some traditional venezuelan songs um just guitar and voice that people always love and i really love paying tribute to the place that i come from so that's always there um and yeah maybe se cuatro trio will play something with me maybe i'll sing something with Luis Enrique, you, you gotta go, you gotta go, and then you'll see. Yeah, totally. Ah, that's so cool. I'm excited. Um, I do want to know, like, since you are coming, I, I, I've lived in LA for all my life. Uh, I've been here since I was two years old, so it's my city. I want to know, what, what, what are you looking forward to on your visit? Are you looking forward to the food? Are you going to do some sightseeing here in Los Angeles? Or are you just going to come and go? Uh, the weather. 
Yeah, I go and I'm gonna go and just come back. It's just for like two days. We get there tomorrow. I mean, the fri Friday, 21st. The concert on the 22nd. We leave next day. But the weather, the weather in California, in LA, is so amazing. And in New, in New York, where I live, it's getting cold, as you can see me. Yeah. <laughs> getting very cold so yeah i can wait for that the food also i just love the vibe it's, it's so chill again i come from new york new york is crazy so you get there and it's like oh you get to chill a little and yeah and i have a bunch of friends obviously so i'm very excited i love it late i love going there awesome well, i can't wait for you to come here also are you gonna get some tacos are you gonna get some mexican food out here obviously Obviously, I love to. Which one do you recommend? Actually, last time I went, I went like uh, three months ago, I think it was, and they took me to this amazing taco place. Uh, but I, wow, I don't know the area as well in LA yet. But anyway, I mean, I guess anywhere you go to eat tacos is gonna be fine, right? Yeah, yeah. My favorite is close to the Soraya. It's okay. it's down on Lindley and Sherman Way. Uh, okay. It's called Tacos Reyes. And that okay. is my favorite one. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for the for the tip because yeah, we're, we'll definitely go. I'm always looking for yeah. options. Yeah, I love trying. I love food. I love going to restaurants and trying new food and traditional food. So um, I'm happy you told me that. Yeah, it's like eight minutes away from the place. I, I live close by, so I, I'm always going there. Amazing. This, well, this is going to be my first time in Northridge, to be honest. I've never been exactly in that area. Um, is it how far is it from LA? From LA, about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the traffic. Okay, okay, not bad. Yeah, but this taco spot is like down the street. Okay, amazing. So walking distance even? Mm, no, not walking distance, because everything out here in the in the valley is like long. It's true, it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's just a lot here but yeah no I, I love LA and I'm so excited I've never sang with Luis Enrique before of course I've been a fan of his work I grew up with his music as well uh, Yo No Se Mañana which is you know the anthem for every Latin person <laughs> um, yeah. their family uh, I love them and we of course have a few songs together even recorded my last album Como La Marea was with them Se Cuatro Trio Jorge Glem who's part of Sequatro Trio, recorded with me two songs in my previous album. So yeah, uh, they're they're just incredible. One of the best bands, I think, in the world because they're, what they do is just so different with three, uh, with the same instrument, cuatro. It's it's just crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I really yeah. And what a pairing to you. Y'all just, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect pairing. The, the people at the Soraya, they know what they're doing. Of yeah. course, Luis Enrique and Nella. It's going to be a wonderful time. Uh, and I hope everybody can buy tickets. The Soraya.org is where you can purchase tickets. They're still available, but they're running yeah. low. So be careful. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, Nella. Well, thank you so much for, for your time. Well, te, te agradezco mucho por hablar conmigo. And I, I wish you the best of luck and a safe trip. We'll be here. Gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And, for, and I'm sorry for the interruptions of Tambor. <laughs> it makes it more fun. I love dogs, so it's okay. Thank you. I'll see you soon then. Ciao. Ciao.